Hey, mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, Jedi. Just eating all the bots that are just cleaning up all the charcoal out of my inventory. I just cleaned up a belt storage. Yep. We're still here standing, staring at labs because Yellow Science is now, well, backed up. Um, adding those couple of extra assemblers and literally like 10 minutes of me just looking around for what to do next caused Yellow Science to start actually backing up, which is great. Because we actually have access to, and I didn't realize it, Lab Mark 2 and Lab Mark 3. So we're going to make some better labs. Uh, there and there. Um, and do some more research. Um, electric locomotives. Electric locomotives. 1,200, 4,000. Uh, I don't really want stacking belt boxes. Uh, that's all infinite science. 4,000. Okay. Particle shooting speed. Particle shooting speed. Particle shooting speed. Particle shooting speed. I know lots of people have told me about the, the, the fireball turrets. I'd love to play with them. It's just, you know... This series is dictating what I have to do, rather than me dictating what I want to do. Uh, request that, request that. Massive power pole right there. 1.1k red circuits. Okay, let's just turn that down slightly. 45 laps. I don't have 45 laps. I don't have any laps. Zero. Okay, we need to make laps. You know what? I'm lazy. Uh, you are going to make... Which one's labs under? That one. Yeah, I'm actually going to let you request all that crap. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to let you request more crap. And I'm going to give you the stack inserter from hell. concrete let's go with 200 concrete and we do have concrete yeah 500 blue circuits yeah done okay all right sure uh okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set you to zero you to zero and you to zero so what's already on its way should arrive and we should get some amount of labs to go to some amount of labs to go to some amount of labs to go find our other upgrade planner which doesn't need to do any of those anymore. And actually, you're already doing those. So what do we need? We don't need concrete wall. So let's go with... Oh, I can't upgrade labs. Okay. I'm going to steal the labs. I'm going to... Hate you pipes. Run to where labs actually exist. Lab is in the way. Okay. We'll do things the old-fashioned way. <gasps> oh, they take four prob mods. That is so much better. We're going to squeeze so much more science out of things. Let's request... Lab. On their way one. That makes me a little bit disappointed. Just so you know, game. Right, what do I need to make you go faster? Uh, faster ones are them. Suddenly wanting, wishing I request more red circuits. And probably more titanium plate. And more blue circuits now. Way more concrete. Why is there no concrete? Because I don't actually buffer concrete, do I? No. <laughs> you 
It just disappears into a chest and then passes straight out of the chest. Alright, so we need to cut that, slide it down a tile, put in a splitter, put in a real power pole, and then put in one of those without one of those with one of those. Yes, something like that. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Because that looks like one side of the belt is being held up. One side of the belt is being held up. I never thought I'd be doing this. Purple belt of concrete. Uh, which means you can go faster. Which means yeah, you just need to go to green. Which means... Probably means... Hang on. Sure. Because that's not insane at all. Purple belt of concrete. Holy crap. It's still backed up. How are you guys outputting fast enough? Alright, that's a lot of beep beeps. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Are you solved yet? Come on! There we go, final solution. Alright. That's an insane amount of concrete. Uh, you're getting requested back into there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a buffer chest there, yup, and then it means we're going to have to go to anything that wants concrete, concrete, like you, you're already done, and like you, you're already done, and okay, so it's just, it's just the new building here, nope, you, on the way zero. Oh, you're out of lab mark ones. Oh, copy and paste. Uh, where were we? We were dumping science into a lab. Getting completely sidetracked. You, 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 and you. Paste, 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 paste. Uh, the machine said eight. Sure. Uh, have some science. up five. Oh, 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 I have some labs. You don't have titanium. My name is titanium. Because literally it's just not getting shipped to you fast enough. Yeah, it's not getting shipped to you fast enough. Uh, you know what? We've got a lot of titanium. Let's request 500. some prod mods. Please don't run my science without prod mods. Uh, you, 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 and you can go away and we'll paste in four more. How's that yellow belt, or that, that belt of yellow science going? It is... It's backed up worse than it was before. It's backed right the way up. didn't help. Uh, remove random plastic belt. Uh, that doesn't help. That helps. Uh, you're going to be requesting yellow science 
So you now live there. Okay. Uh, so at least now we can put it on both sides of the belt. Just a little bit more belt buffering. Uh, I should have looked. Okay, so what's your... Speed of 145. Speed of 40. Oh, they're actually slower. A lot slower. A lot, a lot slower. But we are getting 40% productivity out of them. If I remove those two. Speed of 145. What? Research speed 1.25. Research speed of 2. Hang on. I think you're lying to me. Research speed of 250, 250. Yeah, it's lying to me. Okay, right, we're still going to upgrade them for the extra productivity. And then I think I'm going to consult the mod portal and see if there's an update to the mod. Just in case. Because that seems like a, a mod oversight that... It says it goes faster, but it doesn't actually go any faster. I'm willing to bet it's not getting the benefit of the research speed upgrades. So we're going to bonuses. It does say it does. But at a vanilla default speed, it was not going any faster. Is green science now the issue? Well, it looks like red and green science the issue. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, all right, so we just need a few more labs, and then this will be built out, and then hopefully there's a fix on the mod portal. Uh, you have no belt. There is absolutely no belt in stock. Why is there no belt? You're just not a very fast machine at all. Belt, 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 belt. Nope, missed that. Turn that off. Sure, suck up the inserters as well that I didn't really want. And you wanted belt, which I'm auto trashing. Awesome job, JD. Yes, screwed the pooch on that one entirely. Okay. Uh, but I do have a bunch of labs I can feed you. You have four. Are you now missing titanium? Oh, because... Yeah. We'll have all your titanium. And we'll shove it into that machine instead. Because I might have enough. How many labs are in here? 15. Alright, so we're going to set you to zero. And you to zero. And you to zero. Because I really don't want excess labs. Of all the pointless things you can have floating around your factory. Logistics storage, 212. Oh, we have useless labs. Yeah. Well, you were left unsupervised. Mm-hmm. Speed modules make it go faster. Much faster. Much, much faster. I'm never going to use even the Mark II versions. I'm never going to use all those. Okay. That's concrete still. Uh, what else I want to look at this episode? I want to look at steel. Because it was saying we were using more steel than we're producing. And yet my steel belt still looks full. It is still full. It's probably actually emptying buffers. It is. That's going down. It's going down really slowly, but it's going down. Okay, so we need to find a new smelting array. 
Uh, you? Still haven't copied a beacon. Let's put that there. Oh no, there's not a bit of concrete missing. There's a bit of cliffs in the way still. Okay. Uh, you, 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 you. Should be able to do that with a long hand in there that I'm gonna upgrade. Does long hand have a does a long hand inserter have a upgraded upgrade? No, it doesn't. Okay. And then I need to So to get max rate calculator to work on this, it needs to actually do something. So we're going to feed some iron into it, which will then feed some steel, which will then let us run max rate calculator, which is then going to tell us we're going to make 2.24 steel. We need to get eight in. Eight in is easy enough. Eight in we can do with just... A inserter. We don't need anything special or fancy. Mm, okay, I'm gonna use purple just so if I copy and paste that lines up with there. Yes, uh, your output. You can just output again onto a purple belt okay so you do 2.24 steel Hang on. you're running at crafting speed of 540 you're running at crafting speed of 540 so they're both fine uh, power is not something I'm going to worry about so you're doing two steel and you're doing how much three really it's that much of a difference just one 2.24 compared to all of that well this is going to make things a whole lot more simple uh, okay that oil pipe through the middle is not going to make things simple at all but it's Fine. We're going to have so many extra furnaces. All right. Where to start? Top or bottom? Let's start at the bottom because nuclear is sort of in the way. Uh, let's just cut that. Am I patient enough to wait for that to bleed out? You know what? I'm not. back there then we're gonna cut this whole build and remove that I have no idea what you're doing uh, and then I guess we start as low down as possible which is that tile which has oil pipe you know I just did that oil Now you connect? Now you connect, sure. We're just gonna go with double pipes. 
Uh, where was on? No, he won't connect any further. Okay. So that's the build. Now I want to move it down further. Because wherever I start the bottom of the build, like, I can only go up so far before I run this shit. And if it's one tile short, I don't... Uh, no, I just move everything down by one tile. It's fine. Alright, so we're going to put you in there. And then we're going to put in your friend. And then do you, does your friend get a friend? Yes, your friend gets a friend. Uh, okay, there's a problem with the blueprint. Because you don't connect through. You do now. Uh, how much... I didn't look at how much iron ore this would use. Alright, we'll wait till it's built. And then we'll know how much iron ore we're going to use. Uh, you, auto trash. Please. Thank you. Uh, substation in there. Substation in there. Done. Uh, I have any more speed modules on me. So there's nothing I can do about it. I just need this to be built. So, right in the middle. I could move this over a couple of tiles and run it up through... There. And then bring it back. Run it up through here. No. Potentially, we're going to move the, all this over a couple of tiles. Potentially. Alright, you're... Oh, I can't run Max Gear 8. Cack that over because it doesn't have an input. Alright. Uh, okay, that's suddenly not going to work. We need you... To slide as far right as possible. Which just made the whole oil conundrum worse. But that's fine. We'll get to it. Okay. We're going to have you have an input. I'm going to bring... Oops. That into there. Which is then going to have an output. Which is sure. We'll just put on a red belt for now. I'll work out the minor details later. Yeah, we've got one belt spare up there. Two belts. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, prob mods. Speed beacons? No, I have beacons on me. Do I have speed modules? Nope. Nope. Nope, nope. Nope. Uh, yeah, I'm poor. Okay. No, I need, I need all the modules done. Yep, these ones too, please. And these ones. Come on. I want to run max rate calculator. I want to see what this is going to output. Because I have a feeling it's going to be a lot. I have a feeling I'm not seeing the robot network. Oh, plus I've got the two belts of iron ore that's wrapping through the... Yeah, okay. Alright, later JD problems. Alright, you are doing 11 for a blue belt in. That's pretty good. Okay. All right. They're all blue belts. All right, so we're gonna... We're gonna do that and that. Nope. Uh, that, that way. And into there. We're going to run that one. You know what? Don't be an idiot, JD. Just run the steel underneath. Okay, we're going to run that. 
that way. We're gonna run that straight in there, that into that splitter, yep. Then we're gonna put another splitter, and all my free space suddenly disappeared. I'm just gonna have to slide over a tile. Which is going to lead to problems up there, but there are problems up there that I'll deal with when I get up there. Okay, so we're going to remove robots off. All of that. And then we're going to put in another build. Move over a tile. Remove that chunk. that, remove that, remove that, remove that, okay, third time's a charm, drop that in there, uh, you can actually go up there instead, and should be joined up like that, turn the robots back on, they can build or deconstruct or whatever it is that they happen and want to do, I obviously didn't stand in a robot network for long enough. I uh, have some robot port mark threes. We'll notice that more and more robots are starting to turn into the mark three robots, which is always good to see. Uh, power? No, power's fine. It's probably getting worse. Technically, no. Technically, we're using less power. Which probably means I broke something. Okay, you're gonna come out here and join in there. Yes. Uh, you know what? That whole smelting array is just filling up with crap that I will be forced to pick up and put my inventory. Can we just remove it, please? I should have looked. How much was this actually producing? You were producing six. Six, twelve, twenty... Six, twelve, twenty-four, thirty. So we're making thirty steel. We're up to twenty-two, thirty would be the next blueprint. Yeah, I think we got this covered. Okay, now this time around... Uh, can't fit stuff in inventory? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Also, no, that's not going to go away. Uh, have some iron plate and some steel and a whole lot of problem mod ones. And this time... No, I really don't like those two iron ore belts. Because it means I'm not doubling up my beacons. Which is a logical power saving. I've also cut off my oil. And I haven't fixed it. Um, cool. Thanks, research. I was staring at that screen trying to come up with a great, wonderful, brilliant solution. <gasps> Particle damage. Particle damage, particle damage, particle damage, particle damage, particle damage. That's infinite. Uh, particle compression. Okay, go away. All right, I'm going to regret this. We're going to cut those. Then I'm just going to remove everything from there to there. Should start at the top. Should have started at the top. Okay, auto trash iron. I'm requesting 200, so I should probably only trash 200. Uh, Robo port mark 15. 
there, there, uh, there. Oh, there's another one. Uh, this whole area is not perfectly covered. Look, if you use a Robopult Mark 15, everything gets perfect, perfect coverage. Okay. Uh, which means all of that's going to get ripped up as well. Oil pipe can get ripped up. How many free construction bots do we have? Uh, zero. Zero is a really good number. Uh, upgrade planning you. Uh, how many free logi bots do I have? Two fifty. Uh, active provider. Have some blue inserters. Have some stuff. Uh, have some charcoal. Uh, no, there are still free logistics bots, so I'm not working them hard enough. Uh, okay, up here, undeconstruct, redeconstruct. Oh, actually, these are probably full of stuff. Yeah, that's going to make such a massive difference to the bots. It's easier for me to pick up, like, 100 iron plate and shove it in my inventory than it is for the bots to fly over multiple times to pick up 100 iron plate from one of these smelters because they were backed up. Or 100 steel, whatever it happens to be. Undeconstruct. Redeconstruct. Which just hands the job off to my local robots because they happen to be standing right here. Well, standing figuratively. Uh, okay. Alright. One belt. So, you need two tiles at the right hand side to get out, sort of? Yes, you're going to need two tiles at the right hand side. No matter what. Can I squeeze that down to one tile? Not with that great difficulty, so let's not do it. Okay, so if I paste that there. So that's 11, that's 22. 33, 44, 55, 66. That is so much overkill, it's not funny. Right. And then, blue belt will do. Side the belt, so if I do that, that should merge it hopefully onto either side of the belt. Um, yes, I guess for that one. Uh, let's just keep bringing this down further. You go there, you go there. Okay, bring that one out. And... Uh, underground. Great, so that's that problem sorted. Sort of. Uh, input, 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 input. Input and input. Uh, it's not a lot of room to do this. Okay. Let's move you over by a tile. Uh, that failed. Uh, 
Uh, yes. Yes. 10,000 tons of plastic. At least I'm not dumping it in the ocean. Okay. So let's give me an extra tile. There, there. Oh. Uh, there, there. More iron ore into storage, being my inventory from looks of that. And we can bring that down. Okay, so I want to go. Output priority left. No. Copy, paste. Okay. So that should refill the belt. Uh, I, you know what? I'm just going to copy all of that. I don't want that. All that. All that. All that. All that. And then paste, 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 paste. Uh, U2 belts. I got all this free room now. What to do with it? Uh, go away, wooden power pole. You're ruining everything. So, because I keep moving everything to the right. Because I keep moving everything to our right, being the belt's left. Yeah, I get there in the end. These two belts should be the only ones with ore in them. By the time it gets down to here, these two belts should be basically dead. At least that's the theory. Now, if we backfill all that, we see it start running. You'll see this belt dries up, then that belt dries up, then that belt dries up, and then there's just nothing left over. So, it just means I need a thousand beacons and I have furnaces on me. All the furnaces are done. Okay, go away. Uh, that's a whole lot of steel. Uh, beacons. Why are there no beacons in storage? Because for some reason you only have one of your boxes. Uh, beacons, at least in my workshop, okay, they're not made quickly at all. Oh, I can't. Okay, they're not made quickly, and they're a little bit slow to build at what, fifteen seconds craft time. Uh, and they're also limited by this copper cable machine. Which is perfectly fine by me. Except when you want them in a hurry. And the way I get around that is just having lots and lots of um, storage chests. And just letting them build up over time. Like, a lot of time. Uh, okay, and we're missing modules. Are we actually missing... Yeah, we're actually missing the modules. Okay. But what we should see, and we're seeing it already, is as this fills and backs up and gets its productivity modules, excess iron is going to come through and we're going to have excess iron. Now, I probably should put a. Yeah, let's go do it. Now, on the end, because it's, it's, it's just. Because of what comes out of the, 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 that was bullet time. No, it's not that. It must be this. Oh, we hit the next level biters. Oh. I just hit spacebar. I'm on map view. Oh boy. That could have been bad. Okay. Change weapon. Yeah. 
All right, so what I want to do is I want to do that, 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 uh, that, that, that. So because what comes out of here is going to be so messed up, what I actually want to do is I, what I should do is I should put a balancer, uh, but at the same time, I should put a, a universal balancer. So a universal balancer also lane balances what comes out. That takes three tiles. Can I go? So it also lane balances what comes out. Now there is a neater one. There's a pretty one out there on the internet. Don't ask me what it looks like. Because realistically, you should almost never need these things. A universal lane balancer. And the ones out there on, on the internet tend to be universal in and universal out, which makes this being a four, four balancer uh, end up being this long and this big of all sorts of weird belt conundrums. And yeah, it's just, it's a mess. It's a mess. But this is, gets us our desired output. We have everything being shoved to the right. With that, we're making steel. Steel is going at 1.4K per minute. Currently, this build is doing... Is capable of 3K per minute. Uh, so we have the capability now. Um, and then the excess iron ore is still going all the way across the whole base to feed the main two smelters, which is running into that iron belt, which is really not doing a lot. It's making pipes and it's making batteries and it's making acid and it's running into the workshop and making grenades and some belts and some gear and some inserters for green science and more gears for red science. It's doing not a lot. The, 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 the starting smelters have been pretty much obsoleted. Anyway, with tech coming up on the screen, I think that's as good a place as any to call the episode. Um, we're just going to continue down the tech tree, just ticking off what we can. I need to go look at the mod portal and see if there is a force cannon pod. Set a vehicle grant automatic fight near enemies, placeable only on grid. What's a force cannon? I'm guessing it's some sort of knockback. Damage 8 plus 16 impact. Hmm, okay. Uh, mega particle beam. That sounds nasty. Um, so yeah, I need to go look on the mod portal and see if there's a fix for our labs to make them go faster. But we've got steel upgraded. I guess we can start wandering around the different smelters we have currently once we have more modules actually made in storage and start upgrading some of the other, um, the other smelter arrays. Anyway, like I said, that's where I'm going to call it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.